Assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum on jara mo musibbe on jara ba yibbe on jara on jara ba bandirabe eh hino ngi jam aw min ila ngi jam ni e be ngure am be fo me ngi jam alhamdulillah yitu di alla boyi on non ko on mi sikitu ngi do ngi jam aw uh hi guys welcome welcome to another class okay Okay, so we finished. We've covered. Uh, we are covering text one. You know, we finished the core chapters of the book. We are covering text one. So we finished the vocabulary. Now we have to go through the grammar, right? Okay, let's get started. Okay, guys. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, grammar. Okay, today we're gonna see the infix. Okay, it's part. It's not the it's called prefix, suffix, infix in the middle or something. Okay, the infix often takes the place of the word for the infix ang. Okay, like when we see miyobaimo, I will pay him. Miyobaimo komi jogani mo kong, I will pay him what I owe him. Miyobaimo komi jogani mo kong. Miyobaimo komi jogani mo kong. Okay? Miyobaimo means I will pay for him. Miyobanai means I will pay for him. Okay, two examples. Notepad come here. Notepad, mom. Okay? Yande kala kumi yahanta nene anka makiri. Okay? So, okay, so yahanai. Yahan. So, this, for the ending here, this is the important part. Focus on the an. For the ending, it depends on the tense. Okay, if it's the perfective, the you know the future, it depends on the tense for the I say mi yahanta. Then the kala ko mi yahanta. Okay, yahanta is uh, how how do they call it? Because the book they have proper terms for it. They have something called the perfective, so and the imperfective. Okay. Oh, this mosquito is. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Mosquitoes. Oh man. Uh. Mosquito sonsoli. Mosquito is called sonsoli, by the way. Okay, sonsoli. Sonsoli means mosquito. Okay, mi do gollude. Mi do gollande mo. Mi do gollude. Mi do gollude. Mi do gollande mo. Mi do gollande. I am working for him. And and then we already know that this is the is for the continuous. Mido nyamude, mido manude, golude, and so on. Mido yarude, I am drinking. Sorry. Okay, so mido gollandemo, I'm working for him. Mido golude, mido gollandemo. Okay, so now, so ande for him. Mido golude, I'm working, mido gollandemo, I'm working for him. Kobabing amune gollande, I am. It's for my, I am working for my dad. Ko babeng ang nune golande. Okay, mido golande babeng ang. Mido golande babeng ang means I am working for my dad. Okay? Yeah, so that's that's the ande part. It is often used with verbs of communication. Eh, here, aran ulef terima and so on. It's often used with verbs of communication. Halugol. Halangol. Windugol. Windangol. It's wind angle. There's no A. It's wind angle directly. Got it. And here he put talk to someone. Actually, it, for for these words, whoa, this mosquito is, it just beat me like, oh man. Okay. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I killed, I spent last night like, I, I killed at least, maybe at least 40 mosquitoes. In a single night, I swear, I'm like at least like 30, 40, 50 mosquitoes. At least. I have this electric, yeah, I have this electric thing, you know, like those, how's it called? It's called a rat? It's called a racket in French or tennis a racket. It's an electric one. I used to, I, I, I like bash them with it and they just, you know, I put, you know, they just die, you know. Oh man, <laughs> I couldn't sleep the whole night. Hanki jemma on fomi da anaki, jemma on fomi da anaki. Udi son soli di tan pinime. Mi wari koyoni son soli di chapan enai. 
kofandi wo kofandi at least kofandi wo kofandi mi wari choncho son so dey chapan dey chapan dey nay chapan dey nay at least i killed um for the mosquitoes at least i i didn't keep count but i i i think oh man okay let's go uh hal am gol god talk to someone it's talk for someone ko hal am gol god to godum means to talk to someone to tell someone something now here it should be talk for someone because we are in the because again it can mean both it can mean the benefactive or just like to talk for someone or it can just mean to talk with someone or to tell someone sorry to tell someone something but here it should be talk for someone because we are in this chapter here it should be to tell someone something so to tell someone something it is halangol goddo goddo and goddo means so, someone okay to to tell someone something but when i say halangol goddo has in our context here with the suffix ang here it it means like to talk for someone like you the spokesperson of someone halangol god if i just say halangol god not god okay halangol god means if because it can mean both actually even here halangol god god it can mean to tell some someone is to tell something for someone it can also okay so to to tell it can mean also to tell something for someone to tell something for someone okay how long go for example like when i say jodo mi hala no yai modima okay jodo mi hala no yai modima sit i will talk for you i will talk to your husband for you okay jodo mi hala no yai modima okay mi o jodo mi halante jodo mi halante meaning i will talk for you okay i will be your spokesperson okay so it can mean both okay hala ngol goddo goddum ma hala ngol goddo fi hara ko an hala ta kan ko fanka to talk for so, some for to talk for someone to talk for someone as as he spoke spoken same with win windangol windangol god so windangol god mi windana be wel di be won be amerik windana be ka facebook ma mi windana be letter ha huh? ma mi windana be godu windangol but also windangol mi windana ba be uh, mama sorang bay mama sorang be jangali kay kol be be rewali kol mi windana be inde ma be because my grandpa didn't go to school i will write his name for him mi windana be inde ma be den e hala français ma e hala anglais mi windana mama sorang mi windana sorang inde ma be i will write i write for my grandpa his name in french or in english okay now here the causative infix so this is benefactive okay for someone benefactive so i benefit someone else or causative the infix is very widely used it turns an idle intransitive verb into a causative one okay like andugol to know andingol to inform wul wulugol sorry wulugol wulnugol okay wulnugol here it changes a little bit but it's still the same sometimes it changes the root a little bit because it was wulugol now it becomes wulnugol to cause something to be hot to heat something hopugol it can also another verb wulnugol when you double the l it becomes wulugol to cry now what is his causative equivalent it becomes wulingol 
to cause someone to cry. Wooling God. God that a wooling animal. Don't make your mom cry. Okay? God no. Hana ka wooling an animal. Hana ka God no. Hana ka pay kung wooling an animal. It is not befitting. Befitting? Befit? Befitting, right? Befitting. It's not, okay? It's not suitable for um, a boy, for a child to make his mom cry. Okay? Wulingol. Wulugol. Wulingol. But here it's wulugol to be hot. In the polar, you have to be very careful. When you double somewhere where we don't have to make a dub, uh, double the letter, it can change the meaning. So, hukugol, hukbingol, to light someone. But also, not only to light something on fire, it can be also to start the light. The light of the room. Okay? Walagol, walingol. Hersugol, hersingol. Yubugol, yubingol. Okay? This is often used figuratively, like finugol, finningol. Now, finugol to appear. Like, liurunu feni. Liurunu feni, the moon has appeared, has showed up. Finningol now, it means to announce. You remember the text about Dennabo? Finninol means the announcer. Finninol. Finningol means to announce in the public. Finningol. It's used figuratively. Okay? Teddugol. Teddingal to accord respect. Teddingal. Teddugal. But here it's used figuratively. Feugal. Feunugal. Feunugal here means to guide. To guide someone. Like a moral guidance. Okay? Hulugal. Feunugal also have his normal meaning, which means just to make it straight. Like to, you know, something that was bent, we make it straight. Feunugal. Okay? It's not always easy to recognize the cause of it because it messes up with the root, as we say. Okay? Hulugal. Hulingal. Bobo hulbintake. We shouldn't frighten babies. Bobo hulbintake. Okay? Jangugal. Jannugal. Hewugal. Hepingal. Hewugal. Hebingal. Hewugal, hebbingal, sumugal, sunugal. So you see that the root changes. My little brother is crying. You can also create a stative verb from an active one, like jalugal. Remember active and stative verbs? And we use the complex pronouns with the Stative verbs like himo, himo jalni. So jalugol, himo jalni. What does uh, jalni means? Funny here. Himo jalni. Neto jalnudo means someone who is funny. Anugol, no anini. It's worrying. Ma himo anini. Okay? He's like somebody like we need to be worried about him. Okay, in Mohan. Okay, for participles now, a participle is a noun or adjective made by tacking a noun, class, and then. Uh, okay, you know what a participle is, right? Okay, so now participles are used like. Oh, these mosquitoes. Participles are, are used here like adjectives. Kodebo, judo. Okay, ko adebo judo. She is a tall woman. Ko omauro judo. She he is a tall uh, old person. Okay, okay. Ko judo or ko judo. It can be used also as a standalone. Ko judo. Ko dabo. Dabo is the opposite of judo. Dabo. Okay, ko dabo. Ko o simbudo. Fat. Ko o hmm do. That's uh, a participle used as an adjective. Now, it depends on the, the ending, depends 
The form of the participle depends on the verb ending. Ugol, agol, or egol, as we all know. Okay? Sembuda, from sembugol. So it will be sembuda. Veltido, for the, ver the velta agol group of, 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 of verbs and participles, of verbs. Arsicado. So we have the a infix for the egol verbs that are in the egol group. Okay? So, arsicado. Vertido, symbol. And this is the own class. The, and we already know that the own class is for humans. Whenever you see the own class, this ending, oh, it, it's for humans. Okay, so it depends on the aspect of the verb, whether it's perfective or imperfective. Gertogal hirsete, gersogal hirsangal. Gertogal hirsetengal. So when you hear hirsetengal, means the future, not now. Hirsangal, already slaughtered. Hirsetengal, that will be slaughtered. Hirsugol means to slaughter. Okay, with a knife. The no particle can also be in there. Get to the hirsete no ongal. Ah, okay. When you put the hirsete no ongal, means that was going to be slaughtered. It was going to be slaughtered, but maybe it wasn't slaughtered. If I say, get to the hirsete no ongal, la wike. Galdugi? The chicken that was going to be slaughtered ran away. It escaped. It escaped. So now people are running after it. Okay? Get to get to gal here se te no gangal la wike. Yip de ben the juk to the ma fai de ben the juk kutu de gal. And the kids are running after it. Okay? Get to gal here se te no gangal. The second gal is when I, it's because when I say that. Gertogal hirsete no ngal. A chicken that was going to be slaughtered. But how do I say the chicken that was going to be slaughtered? I will add a second gal. Gertogal hirsete no ngal. Okay, to say the, the definite, instead of saying a. Okay? In the graph marker, of course, depends on the noun in question. Sukadio kanun. Okay? Sukadio or suka. We can just say suka. Can this say suka? Suka kanudo, an ugly young youngster. Fai be kanude, ugly children. Pade kanude, ugly shoes. Dolokaji, ma dolokaji kanudi, ugly shirts. Gertogal kanugal, ugly chicken. Ugly chicken. Bariru kanudo, ugly dog. Taikun kanu kung, ugly kid. Okay, so you see the ending? Okay. Now, the words for many occupations are participles. Many jobs, jangowo, yeowo, nyoowo, ainowo. Ainowo means a, a herder, herder, yeah. Ainowo, remowo, okay, a farmer, and so on and so forth. Okay, many jobs actually are participles. Okay, so nyougal, the verb to sue, a clothes, nyoowo. The true adjective now. Now we have some word. There are true adjectives, not participles that are turned into adjectives. Like here, some common ones are mokyo, good, neto mokyo, a good person. Okay, it's related. It's related from the 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 the, 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 the verb mokyo. Okay, so here the verb, the verb. Is actually comes actually as they say from the adjective. So motya. So the verb motyugo comes from the adjective motya instead of the other way. Okay? Like we said that usually adjectives come from verbs, now it's the opposite. So motya, motyugal, njano, big, njandugal, dapo, short, rapidugal, keso, hesidugal, kido, hitugal. Palejo, it should be b, not ba. It should be ph here or the other b. Remember, balejo, black, paulugol. Okay, danejo, white, raunugol. Raunugol instead of raunegol. Anyway, bodejo, woodjugol. Woodjugol to be red. Debbo. 
Debo is an adjective? I don't know that. Debo is just... Ah, okay, okay. A uh, female. Okay. Aranu. Tosoko. Godo. Godo. Okay. Okay. Unlike participles that which are regular and predictable in form, adjectives vary unpredictably from class to class. Not only does the ending change, but the initial consonant as well. Let's look at the adjective god. So gollo god. But when you say bareru, you say wotiru. Wotiru. You don't say bareru god. You don't say bareru god. You say bareru wotiru. Gerso gal godan. Danki woti. Wudere. Remember wudere? Wotere. Wotere. Wudere wotere. Legal gotal. Legal means uh, wood, like like a branch, tree branch or something. Legal gotal. Pai kum. Go to. Pai kum, go to. Okay? The adjective keso means new, janno wa keso. Deftere heire. Karambol keso. Janno wa keso. Debbo keso, a new wife. Here, debbo meaning wife. Deftere heire. Karambol keso. Karambol, you remember? Okay? No problem, right? This is what they mean when they say le poulard est très riche. <laughs> poulard is very rich. Maybe after you spend 10 years or so in the poulard, you will have them all figured out. If you're, in, if you're interested in that, exist, yeah, poulard is a very, very, very rich standard uh, language. It's very, very rich. Yeah. Subordination. As we've just seen, a participle and poulard can stand in for a whole subordinate form in English. But in humanu, the dog that was tied up. Humanu. Humanu. Humanu, that was tied up. Okay? Humanu, no. The participle and the article. The article is no, can bracket additional information. Bareru humanu ga no. Bareru humanu ga hanki no. Okay? So you can add, you can add more. Okay? Humanu. Humugol means to tie. Humugol. There's no such thing as a negative particle with a pronoun in the article ndu. Bariru ndu humaka ndu. Okay, okay. Bariru ndu humaka ndu. For nouns in the uncle, the form is mo. Debbo mo yahani. Okay, for nouns now. <laughs> for nouns, ndu. This is for a dog. You don't call a human being ndu. For example, for example, if I see like a kid, my brother, like you know, you know, brothers and sisters always argue and so on, and I talk, I'm talking to my little brother, and I tell my mom, "Do go niamu go to," like this one is is only eating. He spent all his life eating, but when I call him "do," now it becomes a bad word because I'm like assimilating him to like a dog or like a monster or like a beast. You know, so bariru unindu. Kwa ne do in the dark indu. Sa in ni got ndu hara yindi. Okay? So ndu. So you have to be careful with the you have to be careful with the with, with the like the the article. The article that you use. So deb bomo yahali o. Okay? For some classes the pronoun and the article bracket and the phrase are identical. Geto gangal hirsa gang. Ndian ang hiba. Hibali dang, ndiyan dang, hibali dang. Okay? The same structure is used when the clause has its own subject. Bari erundu. Ya ya, humindu. Ah, bari erundu, ya ya. It should be ya ya. Ya ya is the name, the man's name. Gerto gal, behir sata. Gerto gal. No. It should be a second gal here. Ker to gal. Gal be hir sata jangung gal. Ker to gal. Gal be hir sata jangung gal. Okay. The same structure is used on the close high on subject. Bare ya ya humidum. 
gerto gal gal de hirsata jango gal okay gerto gal gal de hirsata jango gal okay if the clause refers to something that is not specified we don't know its class so we use ko or kom ko oso di kom mo ya ko oso di kom mo ya okay when we don't know what for example what he bought is not not good okay ko oso di kom mo ya we enanda ko hunu mo so di we don't know what he bought enanda ko oso di kom mo ya the clause refers to a place or time use ka or dog ka ka o ka don o ka don ka o ya hiton no ah this is very important important guys ka o ya hiton no wodi mi anda sai ka o hewti don okay i don't know the time when he arrived i don't know what time it was when he arrived okay i don't know the time okay so this is used when you don't know okay the end bracket is so ko o so di kon ko o nyami kon ko o welti kon mi anda ko o welti mi anda i don't know the reason of his happiness the cause of his happiness the end bracket is left off if the sentence is indefinite bare ru humanu nangata wandu nangata there should be an end here nangata wandu a tied up dog that catch monkeys or that can catch a monkey what a nyamu teu ngude fada what a gerto yao ko hotchata here you can say yao or yao 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 gol means to to sneer okay like to belittle you know something me anda kabe woni i don't know where they are ne ne bi kami fini o ne bi kami fini kami fini to be ne bi kami fini ne bi kami fini okay ne bi kami fini it's been a while since i woke up okay ne bi kami fini all right let's go through the these key words so what gota means one he mo mari debbo gota okay he only has one wife mi ya hali tong hay de wotere okay we already saw that gota woturu so it changes depending on the noun class okay because hay de wotere okay ko be nene gota they have the same mother ko e galle gote be hodi connect so you you can learn from this that we say net no god galle gote okay uh uh net no god galle gote pi hun go to pi hun pi hun means a thing pi hun go to means the same thing or one thing pi hun go to okay uh okay this exercise exercise one where you basically you say which one is which phrase refers to a pair or uh, pair means wedding we are uh, it's uh, like uh, remember deogal pair same fatunde then nabo or pair okay so you put kori omunike for example it's what kori omunike that's for fatunde you have to put f here okay Participles and adjectives. Write the following in plural: Happy man, God convertido. Fat woman, debbo, sembudo. Ugly dog, bariru. Okay, continue. Keywords: God dog, go, uh, go. What? The word God it shouldn't be confused with God. God dog means someone. God means one. God dog ari. Lutima, Lutima, double E, double I. Someone came by while you were gone. God ari Lutima. What be susata ma fehako? Some people can't stand leaf sauce. The form got the e means out of. Ah, okay. This is another thing. The form got the e. Got the e mean yahai be da jodo. One of us will go and the others will stay. Got the e mean yahai. Beda ma hedi de ben jodo. Got a me yahai. Got a me. Got a me. 
ยายเฮดดีเบแบงจอโดตัวเอ็มยายเฮดดีเบแบงจอโด one of us will go others will stay okay okay match the polar phrase with its English equivalent จงจีวันดิคัสยอนดิงโอเค the clothes that are in the bucket ชูดิญับปีราดิฮุดดิงญับปีร์กอล means like to put like the, how do you say it? you know those village uh, how is it called oh man it's called cars in in French in English I oh I forgot I I forgot Those houses in African villages, those houses, it completely forward. I completely forward. Ah, oh, it's, it's just not coming. It's, I know, I know it, but it's it's not coming. It's not coming. It's not coming in my mind. Anyway, okay. Match the polar phrase with. Oh, I have to match, so it's somewhere around here. Hmm, I don't see this much. So, the key, the yeah, a hat. Okay, the hearts with church roof. What on earth is church? Okay, so that's Nyapirgol. Okay, church roof. So the, the, that that kind of roof to put those kind of roof with that kind of material, some kind of like not trees. It's some it's something. Okay, the hearts with church roofs. Okay, chudi Nyapiradi hudo hudo ding. Okay, that that will be for the different G two. G. Debbo Arno do Gao. Debbo Arno do Gao will be what? The woman who had come here. Okay, and so on and so forth. Galle Dari de Katumbo Sare Deng. Laur Yahangol. Laul. Oh, there's a mistake here. It's Laul Yahangol Labengol. Yahai. Not yahang because yahang does not make any sense. Yahangol, the 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 road that goes to Labe. Bewa huma ba kaya simbang nanggehir setenge jango geng diang won ang kawindo tang niiri won di ka kader fayan de ding fayan e walor de nasele deng. Pai koi yahana koi kasare koi pai kung pia kung kalek kol kung suka wujud akali si ang ong yimbe yahai be dalaba be nasele. You know what nasele means? Okay, he translated as medicine, but nasele means nasi actually means some med. It's medicine, but like traditional or even Mis mistake, mistake, you know, like it can be just traditional med medicine used to treat like common diseases like you know like flu or something. You would take basically some leaves or whatever. You put it in water. You boil it. You put it in a bottle. You keep it. You drink it like you drink any pill. But nothing can also mean like a medicine. Like used for like exorcism or some something, so where you basically, it's some kind of you know mysticism and no not mysticism mysticism yeah exorcism where they have to take bad spirits from you or they have to um, give or they have to give you something like that will make you famous or something so you you go basically and you it you know you take that. Water, the liquid that they gave you, that usually smell bad because it smells, you know, and then you shower with it, believing that it will give you uh, something, make you famous, or give you a new position at your company or something. That's called nasi. Now nasere is the plural. Nasi nasere. Okay. Translation will the dog that bit me. Bariru yaku no nulando. Okay. Ma bariru ngatu no nulando. Yaku. Yaku means chew, like the dog that chew, chewed me, like <laughs> that's worse than the dog that bit me. 
You chewed me like, like, like you really chewed your, your meat, man. Uh, oh, that hurts, really. But the dog that bit me, Bari Ngatu. Bari Ngatu no Nulandu. Okay? The, the dog that bit me, Ngatugol. Ngatugol means to beat. Okay? To bite. To bite. Like to, 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 to bite. Okay? The teacher who will come next year. How do we say that? The teacher, Jano, who will come next year. The trail to Somba. Somba is a place. The children playing under the tree. The oil in the bottle. The sauce in the kitchen. The man sitting outside. Oh, now guys, you guys have arrived in a very high level. Popular now, mashallah. Okay. Marshall Pular phrase with his English equivalent. Ngol ngol mi homir no mbewa bang. No need to say ngol again. Ngol ngol mi homir no mbewa bang ngol. Okay, like the When you say ngol ngol mi homir no mbewa bang. Ngol ngol mi homir no mbewa bang ngol. No need. Okay. Debbo mo ara ali hanki on. Debbo mo mi japo tono. One O, double O here. Debbo mo mi ja boy to no kona kiri on. Ja bagol means to to welcome someone like to welcome someone like when your dad like come home at night, the kid your your children, they ja bagol you you know they go to welcome you to hug you and so on. that's called ja bagol. After that the whole no ani then. Mm, that's all. Defter and Demi Jun Numan, then. Don't an angle here, sack angle. What does don't an angle mean? It has to do with chicken, so guess it. Oh, I get the same, the, the, the solutions are here, so it's easy, guys. Gore me am, but this is excellent for your vocabulary, actually. Gore me am, Demi Wun Nuno, Kalise, then. Lise means high school. It's French, take a good friend. Jivo Mujunu. Mujunu no mi. Jiwa mujunu no mi defter on. I understand what he said, but it, should, it could be said better. Jiwa. Jiwa junu no olang defter on. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Here he means the girl... To whom I gave the book, not the I, I was translating it in my head and saying that it was a mistake that the girl who gave me the book, but it's the girl whom I gave the book, to whom I gave the book. Okay, and it's perfect. You are mojunu no mi defter on. Okay, kali si mo minyau no ma on. Kai dindi junu no da minding. Labar ki kim kimi fem morto no king. Lekoljo. Mo imma ki on na genge adano don na adan no don mengen na adan no don mengen. Okay. Where is the other one? The paper you gave me. The girl I gave the book to exactly. Okay for eight. All right. Okay. Continue with this. Uh, Write new sentences based on the model, changing only the noun given. Defter, defter and demijunu no mandeng. Gertogal, gertogal ngal mijunu no mangal. Ah, interesting. Doleke? Mo mijunu no maong. Okay? And so on. Kalisi? And so on. Okay? Le munere? Excellent, excellent exercise, this one. My one and only. Write the correct form of goto for each noun and then write a possible English meaning. Bari wotu. Ndiang, kotang, chuggu, nyande, wofonde, mean an egg. Chuggu means a price. Nyande means like a, a, a day. Yeah. Wofonde, gertogal, faibe, saria, a low. Saria means a low. Paiku, low, like the low. It's actually taken from Sharia in Arabic. That means 
the low low golle biredi wal low for bread deftere nene lekkol jio nebbam yontere labi nange rewbe bare hoy bare hoy bare hoy bareru you saw bareru before bare hoy okay same but here this uh, uh, ending okay how do i explain this bare hoy okay how do i explain this bare hoy bare hoy bare hoy how do i explain this because bareru a dog bare hoy Up is is the plural barehoi. It is for the plural barehoi. But yeah, harakotesokoi. But it's uh, a, a small plural but small barehoi. Okay, is the is the plural of bareko. Okay, barehoi. Bareru. The plural will be bareji. Oh, these mosquitoes. Okay, sudu. Fetu, fetu do julere nang. Okay, guys, I'm trying to rush a little bit because I want to keep the video short. Okay, translate the following into blood. They don't speak the same language. Same dogs killed both of these goats. I caught one rooster. Okay, the word rooster is a wolf. The meaning of rooster implies in one of the exercises, just a wolf. It's uh, it is where is it? It's somewhere around here. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. I think we are done. So now, our, in our next video here, we will tackle this text. Fi nafa jed. Fi nafa jed. That will be an interesting one. And then after that day, take three, and then we are done. Okay? And then we, are, we will not be completely done. I will say, I will tell all you guys what will be the future of this channel and what we are going to do after we finish covering this book, inshallah. Okay? But not now. Let's, let's first focus on our book. Okay, guys? Okay, thank you for listening to me. And I hope that you will find this video interesting. And uh, if you have any questions, as usual, you know, don't contact me and we will see. Okay, guys, I want Jarama, Unjarama Fota, our Hare and Untuma Kadisha Najavik, our Unjarama Fota, Langiro and Tofo, Unjara, Unjara. Okay, bye. Oh.